What's going on YouTube, so I'm back with another figure review and today we're gonna to be taking a look, actually the next few reviews, we're gonna be taking a look at the Migo style uh, retro NECA uh, real toys figures. First one we're gonna be taking a look at is Leatherface based off of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. If you guys have not seen the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I don't know where you guys have been. It's probably one of the scariest um, like horror movies that uh, I've seen. It was made back in the 70s. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have know it or you guys have seen the remakes or the sequels to the first one. I personally enjoyed the first one, of course. The second one was second one was pretty good, it was entertaining. Um, and the remake with Jessica Biel, I didn't think was too bad at all, to be honest with you. Looking at the packaging, we'll get it over here. So it's got uh, that clamshell packaging. You got a really cool artwork right there of Leatherface. You've got the um, figure right here as seen in package and uh, NECA Real Toys. Turn this around, you have um, Leatherface right there, so you can probably see me the reflection back there and the light and everything but uh, there's a little read up right there if you guys want to read feel free and pause and you can do just that so Liz sorry about the lighting it is a little bright so it's Texas Chainsaw Massacre right over here so that's pretty much packaging on this um, let's go ahead and take this figure outside of the package so here's a quick little 360 look at Leatherface now looking at this figure right off the bat it is very nicely designed and I don't even know this guy's really not gonna be able to stand on my on my uh, Turntable. I actually purchased some of the NECA bases that they have, but these, these figures do not have peg holes at the bottom of their feet. But there's a quick little top to bottom look. Yeah, he's not going to stand. A little blooper there. But um, as far as the figure goes, the accessories, he does come with his hammer right here, which you can see, and he does hold pretty well. He's got two close fists, and I'm going to tell you where this is going to come into a, uh, play into problem. But um, the mallet or hammer, whatever you want to call it, is pretty nice. You can see it's pretty nicely detailed, and then even the, um, the handle as well looks pretty good. It's got some texturing and little detail to it. And then it, it has little red spots on there, so I'm guessing that might be blood. Who knows? But there's that. His iconic chainsaw, of course. I mean, because you can't have a um, leather face figure without a chainsaw. So you get this. It's not really sharp at all, but it is a soft material. And it is covered with blood. You can see the blades right here. It looks pretty good. And then there's the end piece. You can see it's got some dirt on there, so it has a little bit of wear to it. And then also... The backing of it, you can see it's it's pretty much just got spots of blood all over it. This part is, um, it has a little bit of articulation, but just be careful you don't break this off because I am sure, you know, knowing NECA, um, a lot of this stuff breaks pretty easy. So you get the chainsaw as well. So those are the only accessories that you get. Again, he has two close fists, and then you can put like the um, the hammer in either or in either hand, but where do you put the chainsaw? It's like, how are you supposed to get, I mean, you have a leather face figure, but you can't even display the uh, chainsaw on him. So you can't even fit it. You, I mean, I guess you can maybe put it right here if you really wanted to. So like do something like this. And but I mean, it just doesn't look right because of the, you know, so I think that's the bad part that NECA did on this is that there's no open hands or anything. And it didn't come with any interchangeable hands. So you can't get the figure to display his chainsaw and there's nowhere else to put um, the chainsaw on here. So that's the pretty much only downfall. Another thing I didn't really like is the paint applications, like the the, skull, the coloring on the hand and the, and the arms. You can see it's two different colors and it does kind of stand out. I mean, I don't know how much it's gonna like show on here, but it does sh uh, stand out a little bit. Now looking at the figure, looking at the, the head sculpt, the mask on him looks very nice. I mean, it's really nicely detailed. I mean, look at the skin. You can see the stitching and everything. You got the ears. You can totally tell it is like a like he's wearing a mask. And if we, let's see how close we can get on the teeth. So you can see, look at that, man. He's got he's got like a spaces between his teeth, all those big old gaps. But um, you got the mouth open and then just the head sculpt, man. That mask looks great. And then the hair looks just like how he did in the um in the movie so this the hair is really sculpted nice the cloth or the clothing it's all cloth because you got a tie right here you can see that he's got the apron which is covered in blood it's a nice soft material so i'll show you that right there it's very nicely painted and then um yeah it's got the blood spots all over it there's the inside part and then it's wrapped tight around the back here he's got a shirt which is uh just striped a striped shirt and you can see the buttons are underneath it let me zoom out a little bit so the apron's really cool and then you got like some old school kind of looking jeans like 70s style jeans you can it totally remind me of like back in the day but i mean i wasn't born in the 70s but they do remind they have that like old school look to them and you can see the stitching and everything they did a great job in doing the um the jeans on this figure and then you got the boots right here 
very nicely sculpted as well a little bit of detail on them no peg holes at the bottom i think that's what these things are missing is just um just like they need some peg holes the boots don't go all the way up so you can see that right there very nice now in the way of leather faces articulation so the head can rotate goes up and down arms go in and out forward and back bend at the bicep wrist can rotate and go in and out the arm can rotate got rotation at the waist a little bit of a nap crunch not really the legs do go in and out not too far though they go forward and back bend at the knee he's got rotation in the leg the foot can go up and down and um that's about it as far as articulation goes and there you have it guys today we're taking a look at the um retro style neca texas chainsaw massacre figure Again, the only problem I had with this figure was that you didn't hold the um, the chainsaw. So there's nowhere to really put the chainsaw. Maybe because these parts I kind of open up, maybe you can clip it around somewhere around the clothes, the cloth, the clothes. But I mean, it just doesn't give it that same feel. But and then you got the um, he's got the hammer, which he holds well in either hand. But overall, let me know what you guys think about the figure. And uh, yeah, leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share my videos. We'll see you guys later. Take care. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and on Facebook, guys. Thanks for watching.